Good morning, one and all. Today we are going to begin with the poem La Belle de Saint Mercy. This poem is written by famous poet John Keats. La Belle de Saint Mercy is a ballad. Now, this is the image of the poet that you see on the screen of your mobile. This great poet. John Keats. He was born in 1795. Now, let me tell you about this poet in brief. John Keats was born in Moorgate, London. He is regarded the most eminent and prominent figure in Romantic age. He is a famous Romantic English poet. Now, the sad part of his life is this that when he was alive, his work was not appreciated by the readers. Now, it is only after his death he came in limelight and he became a very famous poet and he got recognition, name and fame after his death. John Keats contributed significantly to poetry and his notable works are Ode to a Nightingale, Sleep and Poetry and this great poet died at the age of 25 due to tuberculosis. So he lived for a very short while. He lived for 25 years. But during this span of life, he contributed significantly to poetry. And today, we are going to study his poem, La Belle de Saint Mercy. Now, these are some of his famous poems that you see on the screen. Lord Byron, Fancy, Ode on the Grecian Earl, Ode on Melancholy, and the last one is To Autumn. La Belle de Saint Mercy is a ballad. In this poem, John Keats depicts the story of the knight. This knight falls in love with the beautiful lady. She takes him to her elfin grot, that is a cave, and offers him roots of a really sweet honey and mana dew. And in a strange language, she expresses her love for him. She lulls him asleep. He falls in deep sleep and happens to see a horrible dream. In this dream, he finds the princes, warriors, and kings enslaved by the lady. They are all in deathbed condition. Hence, they give him a warning. The knight is deceived by the merciless lady, and hence, he wanders aimless on the cold hillside in miserable condition. If you try to find out the meaning of the title, La Belle Dame Sans Mercy, the meaning is a beautiful lady without mercy. Now, this poem is going to give a lesson. You are going to learn a lesson. Now, this night, he falls in love. The moment he falls in love, with the beautiful lady, he thinks she is a fairy child. Her eyes are wild. She is very charming and beautiful. And this is the reason that he falls in love. Now, all that glitters is not gold. That's true here. Though the lady whom he loves she is very beautiful and charming. 
But is that the reason for someone to fall in love? No, of course not. When you fall in love, you have to think twice, thrice. You have to judge the other person. Is the person right kind of choice for you or not? How is the character of the person? How is the temperament of the person? Is that person really a good human being? Is that person a wonderful human being? Has that person all the good qualities of a human being? So this is what you need to think. But the knight falls in love without giving a serious thought to this reality whether that lady is the right kind of lady for him or not. So without giving a serious consideration whether the lady whom he loves is the right kind of lady for him or not, he falls in love and there he commits the blunder. That lady is, though she is very beautiful, she is merciless. And ultimately, he has to suffer in her love. Ultimately, his life is destroyed.